Hey everyone, it's Exo Man. I uh, got some more camera gear here that I wanted to show you. Um, just got this uh, package in the mail and I'm going to open it up and uh, explore my options. What I got here is this, uh, well it's a, it's a camera holder. Okay, and the reason I have that is because I have this Sennheiser mic. It's a shotgun mic that I want to use with my iPhone 7 Plus and you can see it has the radio plug, what is that, a three and a half and uh, so in order to use that on my iPhone 7 I need an adapter and that adapter is this here and the reason I got this adapter with a larger end, it's, a, it's like, a, what do they call these things it's a uh, cable for the iPhone, I can't, I can't think of the term right now but Anyhow, on the one end of it here, it has a port for this, this plug on, on the Sennheiser, and it also, most importantly, has a, a port for a charging cable. So I can actually charge uh, this phone while I'm using it to create videos. So that's very important. So I'm going to put this together. Let's take a look. All right, so there we go. I have it mounted. It was very easy to mount in this uh, unit, and um, I have the I have the mic on board and the cold shoe on top. I can't really turn it around, otherwise you won't see it. But there you go. And let's see. Let me check out the sound on this recording. All right. So for comparison's sake, uh, right now I am using the mic. Testing one, two, three. Testing now. I'm going to pull the mic and we'll see the difference in sound. Okay. Now, without the mic, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay, here we are. Sorry, all right, here we are. Now, I have the camera with the frame set up on the tripod. Uh, and this is pretty cool. Uh, it, it also has, you can't see them, it's got, a, it's got a quarter inch attachment underneath it, which is of course how I've connected it to the tripod. It has the cold shoe here, which I've used to, to house the microphone. And it also has two cold shoes here and here, which I could use to mount lights. But I have a, a light mount here. I don't even know what you would call this armature. But I found that online, which attaches to this little Viltrox portable light, and that's very cool. I've attached it right to my tripod. It just has a, it has a grip that you torque down, and this would be a really optimal setup for vlogging or stationary filming when I do videos with uh, Farm Girl. And, okay, now... Anything else? I don't know what to tell you other than this seems to be a really good setup and this um, this frame is very lightweight. I like that and it's before when I tried to use this mic I've had I bought this mic a few years ago and I tried to use it with a large aluminum frame that I insert was inserting my iPhone into and the sound was very distorted and muffled and I think that was because of the interference of the metal surrounding the iPhone. This is more like a nylon, a plastic, and it doesn't seem to be causing any interference, which is which is awesome. Alright, let's change the volume on this just for my own curiosity. Let me turn it. There's a different position. Now it is in the plus position. Uh, before it was in the minus position. And I believe one of those is for uh, a, for distance, while the other is for more close-up filming. And uh, let's just check out this light. It's going to provide a lot of light. Boom. All right. And that is really about all I have to say about that. Other than, oh, there are two more um attachments uh tripod or whatever quarter inch attachments here and here okay and of course the one that's attached to the tripod all right yeah 
and let's go handheld again that is a departure from I usually hold my phone I don't know but between these two fingers like this and that's kind of my rig up until now this will be a little bit different holding like so and triggering the camera with my thumb but uh, I think it's pretty cool I think I will adapt to that just fine all right now you can get a better look at this you see how that's hooked up there and if I were you know if you were doing a vlog or some such uh, which will be very taxing on your battery power you could you could plug this in if you're doing like a live feed or something you can plug your phone in and you don't have to worry about losing power right in the middle of a live feed you see I really like this very very cool and by the way the Sennheiser is a MKE 400 and for one last shot here I wanted to show you how I have personally adapted to using uh, my phone to film. I film exclusively for this past few years anyway on this iPhone. This is a 7 Plus and this is as I say how I've adapted to holding it and when I when I relax I just hang the phone down at my side. I can't really show you now but I just kind of turn it. I just drop my hand to my side but I continue holding it this way so I can lift it back up and film when ready. I trigger with my thumb here you see on the face of the screen and I also use the zoom feature with my thumb. Well that's not too good. Looking kind of shabby there. Uh, anyway that's how I've been using it thus far. I'll continue to do this. I'll also probably use that new frame that I got. I just want to say that this is not a sponsored video. Uh, you may find up uh, links in the description below. You may not, but currently this is not sponsored. This is me just telling you the day-to-day -day of what things that I'm trying and I'm not endorsing any specific product or recommending the, the use of any specific product. Again, just showing you what I'm doing. And as always, I thank you for joining me and uh, watching the videos. I hope they're helpful and happy filming to you, my friends. Goodbye.